Okay, so hello. Let me introduce myself. I'm Maria Benitez. I have 20 years experience working in different sectors, which the main ones are have been working in a, in pharmaceutical company in Roche. I have now 14 years experience. I have been working in different areas in procurement, and within the last five years, I moved to a team where I'm now drive, driven, driving a team of officer certification and identity analytics. From my experience... Be I a bit more fluid on that. Yeah. Okay, because that's the name of your team, yes. so you can practice that okay. in advance. Officer certification and identity analytics. That's better. Yes. And from my experience, I have more than 10 years experience in... Experience. Experience in management positions. So, that's basically about my job, about my university degrees, okay. about my Okay, just, just, I like the way you summarized, mm -hmm. okay? That's basically about my job, mm -hmm. about my university degrees. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. But give me a pause. Okay. Because it's a lot of stuff. So, that's basically my job. Little mm -hmm. pause. How about my university degrees? Little mm -hmm. pause. Dut, dut, dut. Okay. Yes. About my academic, I have a master's degree in economics. I have an MBA. I have been living in different countries, making more, more um, studies and studying to get different opportunities and getting better expertise and very good schools. Um, I just say I keep studying every day. Okay, so let's let's get that list, but without running out of the energy at the end. Okay, yeah. you ran out of your ideas at the end. Okay, it's so like you're looking for more, and I was thinking, hang on a second. You've got a degree in economics. Mm -hmm. You've got an MBA, mm -hmm. and you've been studying in other countries. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a lot to me. You're, sound, you're making it sound to me like that isn't much, but you need to think of more things. So let's say that like, like it's actually cool. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, you have a degree in economics and an MBA? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you um, intonate it like that. Okay. But that's quite a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. No? Maybe I'm the interviewer and I don't have all these things. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I start it again. So just the just this bit. Mm -hmm. So from an academic point of view, I have a master degree in economics. I have an MBA. I have been studying in different countries. For example, I was studying in Paris, where I get a, an international trading certificate in the Ecole Superior de Commerce study year. And I have been also studying in the States where I was making one year in the high school. That's about my academic. Okay. Mm -hmm. When to use repetition? Mm -hmm. When I want to reinforce. Okay. Did you use repetition here? Yes, you did. Well. You listen back to it and you hear I'm right. Okay. Yesterday, I was speaking to somebody who I did a wedding for 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, oh, yes, and your wedding, this and that. And she says, you know the wedding better than I do. Mm -hmm. Well, apart from the fact that I have the wedding book in my house, because mm -hmm. I like that wedding. Yes, because I see all the details, because that's my job to note all the details. You just went there and you drank a lot and you forget everything. But I mm -hmm. saw all the stuff. No, so I'm, my job is supposed to be to be alert and to listen to you. Okay, you used repetition. I have got, I have got, I have got, I have got. You said that four times or three or four times. Okay, I have. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that in a list. You mm -hmm. can say, I have, colon. Mm -hmm. Boop. You can use commas or semicolons. No? Mm -hmm. When you're speaking, think about your punctuation. No? Mm -hmm. So I have, uh, you can also use body language, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you can't remember, maybe here you don't need it, but you know, I've got a, a master's degree, 
in economics, an MBA, and some international studies in Paris, etc. No? I'm not throwing it away, but this is a trick that you can say it without giving it emphasis and the things can speak for themselves sometimes. No? Mm -hmm. You're telling me those three things, that sounds enough. I don't need you to say too much emphasis on it because it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. It's not false modesty, but you just say this, this and this. Mm -hmm. no? you, and that will get you there in a short amount of time and maybe give a bigger impact because you're saying a lot of words to get the same as what I said with few. Mm -hmm. no? I'm not saying you're wrong. You may want to say, I have an MBA and I have a master's degree in economics and I have this. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would be the sort of Donald Trump mm -hmm. idea of emphasis. Emphasize everything. Mm -hmm. But he won the election. Okay, so try that again. But try and do it a different way. And think about communicating with me and being pleasant and nice and not blah blah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hello. My, my background. Just the education bit we yes. need to look at. Okay, my education, I have a master in economics, as well as an MBA that I did when I started to work. I have been studying in different countries during my university studies. So I went to Paris, I was doing an Erasmus there, and I have been studying in the States when I was doing part of my high school there. Fantastic. So you like foreign travel? I like it very much. And this, those were my first experience to learn more about languages, of course, but in addition to go into different cultures, not only to live, um, learn uh, studying, but also living the experience. And in the top of that, to understand more of how other people think, to get more global, to get multicultural as well. Let's try that bit about culture and stuff, but let's make it lighter. Like you're not in a job interview, okay? Okay. 